welcome back to my channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree wedding centerpiece to share with you. This is heavily inspired off of a home decor piece I made a while back ago. In that video, I mentioned how I thought it would be a good wedding centerpiece. So today I'm going to be showing you how to spruce it up more so for a wedding. Now before we begin, let me address all of the comments I keep getting. I keep getting so many comments asking about my own wedding DIYs. And I wanted to wait till I had gotten the videographer video and shared that with you guys first before I shared with you my DIYs. There's an issue that I realized with that. First of all, the video is going to take 6 to 12 weeks. It's already been 6 weeks. More than likely, it's going to end up being longer. So um, I'm just going to start uploading some of the wedding DIYs. And another reason why I decided to upload those wedding DIYs is I realized one of the main components to my own wedding was lights. I had fairy lights and like everything. I had LED lights, I had candles, and when I had asked my photographer and videographer to take pictures and video of all the centerpieces, the guests had not yet arrived. They didn't put on the lights or the candles until the guests had arrived, so I know that the footage and the pictures that I got not everything is going to be lit. So I decided to try to recreate my wedding venue with poster board to refilm all of these intro shots for my wedding decor. So really soon I plan on having all of those DIYs out for you guys. I just have to edit all together now. But because so many people are asking for wedding decor DIYs, I decided to bring you guys something today. And a little self-promotion, if you're not following my Instagram yet, I recommend following it. I don't post pictures too, too often, but I try to keep up with the story. And this past Friday, I uploaded so many sneak peeks behind all the wedding decor that I did on my story. It's not there right now. Maybe I'll upload another picture just for the people today to see. I'll have my Instagram link down below for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know you want to see more because the wedding decor, it's very like specific to certain people. So if you're one of those people, please show your support to help this video do better so I know continue with some wedding decor. Also make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not and hit that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. With that being said, let's begin the tutorial. For the centerpiece, you'll need some candlesticks from Dollar Tree as well as these really pretty glass plates. You want at least two glass plates and as many candlesticks as you like. You also need a heavy duty glue. I'm using Gorilla Glue. Now you're going to start off with one plate and this will be the base of your centerpiece. You want to flip it upside down and then start gluing your candlesticks on top you of that. You can make your centerpiece as tall as you want to make it. I ended up using four candlesticks, but if you make it super tall, I recommend splitting up section so say you're doing 10 candlesticks glue five of them together and another five together wait for them to dry and then attach both sets of five because if you're gonna make this super tall and you're just gluing and not waiting for the glue to dry because there's so many candlesticks it might topple over while the glue's trying to dry so if you're gonna go really high with this wait for the glue to dry in sets now the next thing I do is take one more plate and I place it at the very top of my centerpiece this is going to be what's gonna be holding whatever it is you you want to put there. I'm using floral pieces. To really bling this up, I'm going to be using chandelier gems. They are ornaments that I got from Hobby Lobby during Christmas time for dirt cheap when they were on clearance. Now I know it's not Christmas time, so Amazon has these. You just got to Google chandelier gems and you'll be able to find them for inexpensive prices. I got these chandelier crystals for $12.79. There's 20 in a pack and out of 274 reviews on Amazon, it has five stars. Now you gotta bear with me because I wanna do a good job of explaining this. If you really do wanna use this for your wedding and you have to transport it, you gotta make sure that the crystal chandelier pieces aren't gonna fall off. So I recommend using a heavy duty glue like A6000, um, Loctite, a super glue, and top glue. If you use just a heavy duty glue, normally those don't dry on the spot. It takes a while for them to dry. So while you're making this thing, more than likely your chandelier pieces are going to keep falling off because that glue isn't completely dry. And then if you just use hot glue, well during transportation, more than likely the chandelier pieces are going to fall off. So that's why I recommend using both a hot glue gun and a heavy duty glue. That way the hot glue is going to keep the chandelier piece in place while that heavy duty glue dries. And that way the chandelier piece won't just fall off on you during transportation. The way you glue these on depends on the crystal gem that you have. So I have an ornament, there's a string at the top, so that's the way I glued it down. I glued it down onto the plate. But the Amazon ones, 
they're different. They kind of have like a little clamp that you can actually just hook right onto the plate. Or if you want to glue it on, you would glue it where the very top gem is and attach it to the plate that way, just on the edges of the plate. It really just depends on the gem that you have. Also, when you're doing the glue, I recommend doing the heavy duty glue first and then the hot glue because hot glue just dries more quickly. And if you do it the other way around, the hot glue will probably dry on you by the time you're done applying the heavy duty glue. It really just depends on the materials that you are using, but this is the method I have found success with. Not just hot glue, not just a heavy duty glue, but both of the glues. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be using these plastic bowls that I got from Dollar Tree, and this is actually what I used for my as own well wedding. as my sister's wedding. This is what's holding the floral centerpiece. I have floral foam inside of there, and then the flowers, and I recommend this so much if you are doing floral centerpieces. It's inexpensive. I mean, four come in a pack, so super inexpensive. So I go ahead and I glue that down onto the center of the plates. I used my E6000 glue. You really just want to use heavy duty glue with this entire thing. Because again, during transportation, if you just used hot glue, more than likely this will just fall apart on you. For my own wedding, I created candelabras using the Dollar Tree candlesticks and I made sure I used a heavy duty glue because I didn't want them to fall apart on me during transportation and none of them did. And I was so thankful and happy with just how everything turned out and I will have a tutorial out eventually for that. Now to decorate this thing, I got this round mirror from Michaels. Make sure if you buy anything from a craft store, you always use a coupon. Now I go ahead and I place my floral centerpiece on top of this. I made this so if you want to see how to make a floral centerpiece that's not just going to die on you one day, let me know down in the comments below. Now to decorate this up, I'm going to add some candles from Dollar Tree. You know, honestly, the my own candles that I got, I ended up getting from Candles for Less because the Dollar Tree ones, I think they only burned for like two hours and I wanted to make sure that the candles I had weren't going to die out on me in two hours. So, you know, if you couldn't try to find longer lasting candles elsewhere for an inexpensive price, I do recommend doing that versus the Dollar Tree ones. Before this video, I'm using the Dollar Tree ones. Again, for my candles, I went with Candles for Less and those candles burned for 12 hours. If you're on the lookout for chargers and plates, I recommend Dollar Tree. I got this really pretty gold charger with this nice design from Dollar Tree. And then I'm just using two white plates. Now, when I was looking at prices to rent silverware within the Chicagoland area, I'm telling you guys this, and I promise, just look it up. I couldn't find anything for less than a dollar. If I'm gonna have to pay a dollar per plate to rent, I'd rather go to Dollar Tree, own those plates. If one breaks, I'm not gonna have to pay an extra fee on top of that or put a deposit down. Now I put these little linen looking napkins, I got them from Amazon on top of them, and this silverware that I got from Costco that I actually cut those napkins and placed the silverware into, it was inspired off of these napkins with silverware inside of them that I actually saw at Dollar Tree. I decided to place two of the candles inside of these cracked glasses I got at Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree has so many candle holders, so make sure you check them out. Real quick, something I really love about using mirrors as centerpieces is the way that they reflect light. So if you put candles on top of there, if you put fairy lights like I show you here, it reflects the light really nicely and creates more light. You know what I mean? Because there's the image already being reflected of that light into the mirror, so it's kind of creating double the light, which is really nice. So that is it for this Dollar Tree DIY wedding video. I hope it was helpful to some of you guys and I plan on uploading my own DIYs I used during my wedding really soon. I was going to wait for the footage like I said but it's just taking too long so I am going to put them out before I actually get the wedding video. So again I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it was helpful and happy planning your wedding if you're getting married soon. <laughs> Anyways I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.